Hey guys, Derek here from NapLab. The Zumbo mattress is a 12 inch thick all foam mattress designed to maximize pressure relief and muscle recovery. This mattress is a 5 out of 10 on the firmware scale where 10 is the most firm and will be suitable for a wide range of sleep positions and body types. During our performance test, the Zoma had excellent cooling, moderate sinkage, very low motion transfer, fast response time, moderate bounce height, good edge support, and excellent pressure relief. The Zoma scored well in our test, receiving an overall score of 9.62 out of 10. Motion transfer and response time were both fantastic for the Zoma, receiving perfect tens. Score stayed in the high nines for cooling, sex, pressure relief, and company. Both edge support and off gassing were in the low nines. The Zoma is a 5 out of 10 on the firmness scale. This is a tad softer than a medium firm, which typically falls around a 6 out of 10 based on the tests performed of comparative brands. Being a 5 out of 10, the Zoma has a touch of softness to it, but also is firm enough to be fully supportive and provide pressure relief. It's important to consider the pros and cons of the Zoma. On the plus side, it has excellent pressure relief and zonal support on the top memory foam layer. Response time was fast and motion transfer is incredibly low, being among the lowest we've tested to date. On the other hand, edge support was good, but not great. Heavyweight sleepers may not find the edge supportive enough to lie on or sit on. Also, the Zoma had a strong smell that persisted for eight full days after unboxing. This is significantly longer than the average of 2.92 days across all of our mattress tests to date. Your body weight and sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleeping positions. Support on the Zoma mattress is excellent. Throughout our test, I felt well supported in all sleeping positions. The Zoma's 5 out of 10 firmness makes it a good choice for a wide variety of body types and sleeping positions. For heavy sleepers, especially those over 200 pounds that sleep at or near the edge, you may find the edge support to be lacking. However, this is a pretty narrow use case and in general, it's better to sleep closer to the middle of the mattress for ideal support. Next up, we're going to move on to our individual performance tests. At NapLab, we test each mattress by analyzing according to 10 different factors that impact feel, performance, and value of the mattress. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then we get off the mattress and take measurements of the surface level temperature. Cooling on the Zoma mattress was excellent. Over the duration of our cooling test, I did not feel warm or experience any heat retention hot spots. While the mattress is built from 100% foam, it uses a number of different features to help improve cooling. First, the fabric on the cover itself is a thin knit, which is highly breathable. Second, the top layer of gel memory foam has cooling channels cut into the foam itself. This further helps to improve airflow and breathability, keeping sleepers cooler. Lastly, the foams themselves utilize an open cell structure. This type of polyfoam formulation helps prevent heat retention and improve airflow throughout the foam. These three foam design elements all work together to create a cooler sleeping surface. For the sinkage test, we lie on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12 pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. In our pressure point test, we measured a sinkage depth of 2.09 inches. This is slightly less than the average sinkage across all mattresses we've tested to date, which is 2.23 inches. Despite being a little less than the average, the Zoma mattress is still very much within the moderate sinkage depth. It's enough to provide plenty of pressure relief and comfort, but not so deep as to create support problems. To test motion transfer, we place one 12 pound medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12 pound medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to measure the motion generated by the drop. The Zoma mattress has a very low level of motion transfer. In our test, we measured an acceleration range of 2.72 meters per second squared. This is significantly lower and better than the average motion transfer across all mattresses we've tested to date, which is 5.78 meters per second squared. Mattresses with an acceleration range of less than 5.0 meters per second squared are considered to have low motion transfer, but the Zoma really pushes it far beyond that. It's somewhat expected, as the Zoma mattress is slightly softer, has thick memory foam and polyfoam layers, and it's an all foam design. These three factors work together to keep motion extraordinarily low. If you sleep with a partner who is easily disturbed by motion during the night, then the Zoma can be a great option. 
If you look at the motion transfer chart, which visualizes our accelerometer data, you can see most of the motion occurs during the first 0.3 seconds. Between 0.4 and 0.6 seconds, that motion is cut in half and then rapidly dissipates back to near zero thereafter. To test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and demonstrate the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. The response time on the zone mattress is fast, but also not the fastest we've tested. In our test, we measured a mostly recovered response time of 0.4 seconds with a full recovery of 0.7 seconds. This is a good bit faster than the average, which is a mostly recovered time of 0.54 seconds and a full material recovery of 0.95 seconds. The fastest response time we've recorded to date are 0.2 seconds to mostly recover and 0.3 seconds to fully recover. However, most of the mattresses at that level are non-memory foam mattresses. Memory foam, even more advanced formulations like the one used in Zoma, are still generally going to respond a little slower compared to polyfoam latex and pocketed coils. For most sleepers, the response time of the Zoma mattress should be perfectly fine. It's still quite quick, relatively speaking. However, if you want the absolute fastest response time, you may want to check out the Ghostbed Lux, Lisa Legend, or Winkbed mattresses, all of which are tied for first as the fastest responding mattresses we've tested to date. To run the bounce test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. The Zoma mattress has a moderate level of bounce. In our bounce test, we measured a total bounce height of 8.53 inches. This is a little below the average bounce height of 9.29 inches. For most sleepers, this level of bounce should be sufficient to aid in ease of movement, improve sex, and offer a comfortable feel. I will say, I'm surprised at the level of bounce relative to the motion transfer. Generally, with lower motion transfer comes lower bounce. However, the Zoma still maintains a fairly high level of bounce despite the incredibly low motion transfer. Despite being a little below average, it's still well within the moderate bounce height, which is 8 to 12 inches. At this level of bounce, most sleepers will find it enough to help aid in movement and improve sex performance. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Overall, I found edge support on the Zoma mattress to be pretty good. In our sitting edge support test, we measured a maximum compression of 4.5 inches. This is better than the average edge support compression of 4.67 inches. While it's better than average, it's still not what I would call great. Generally, I like to see edge support at 4 inches or less. Edge support while lying was good overall, but like sitting edge support, leaves something to be desired. While lying directly on the edge of the mattress without my weighted vest, I felt well supported. I also felt no sensation of being rolled off the mattress. However, when I wear the weighted vest and bring my weight up to 200 pounds, there is a significant level of sinkage and compression. As you can see from the photos, there is a huge curvature of the materials. It's not all the way to a complete collapse of support, but it's enough to concern me. All that said, as long as you sleep a few inches from the edge of the mattress, the support is far better. However, if you are a heavyweight sleeper and also sleep on or near the edge, you might not find the mattress supportive enough. Our sex rating formula looks at five different factors weighted based on their importance. We use the scores from our other factors, plug into the formula, to derive a sex score for each mattress. For the Zoma, these individual factors generated a sex score of 9.6. This mattress has good bounce, which is one of the most important features for good sex. Edge support is good, but not the best, and we notice quite a bit of compression when sitting or lying directly at the edge. While this may not be a huge factor for you, it's definitely worth mentioning when considering all aspects of sex performance. Noise, pressure relief, and cooling were all acceptable. Nothing to really note in those categories. The material components, quality, and comfort layer thicknesses are all critical factors to pressure relief. Other factors that further affect pressure relief are body weight, body type, and sleeping position. Pressure relief on the Zoma mattress is excellent. The Zoma uses four inches of comfort material, including memory foam and polyfoam, which creates an amazingly comfortable feel. The top gel memory foam layer is also zoned, providing a little more support for your hips and midsection, and a little less support for your legs and upper body. The zoning works well with a broader material design to deliver excellent pressure relief. To evaluate off-gassing, we monitor the mattress following initial unboxing, taking a subjective measurement of any strong lingering smells. We were surprised by the level of off-gassing on the Zoma. Upon immediate unboxing, there was a strong smell. 
The smell lingered on the mattress for eight full days before dissipating to a negligible level. This is quite a bit longer than the average across all of our tests, which is 2.92 days. If you're sensitive to strong smells, you may want to allow the Zoma to air out for a few days in an open, well-ventilated area before trying to sleep on it. Zoma was founded in 2019 in Scottsdale, Arizona with a specific design that caters to athletes and the need for muscle recovery. While it's designed with athletes in mind, it's still a mattress that's muscle recovery and pressure relieving materials would be beneficial for many types of sleepers. They offer standards like 100 night trial period, 10 year warranty, and free shipping and returns. None of these policies are too out of the ordinary. One note to mention, they do have a 30 night break in period, which covers the first month that you have the mattress. During this time frame, you cannot request a free return. This is not an unusual policy, and if you're really in a pinch, Zoma does offer returns with a $99 handling fee during the first 30 days. If you can stand to wait past the first month, you can request a return for no charge. Zoma is the sister brand of Amerisleep, which was founded in 2010. Zoma was founded in 2019 with specific design that caters to athletes and the need for muscle recovery. I would recommend the Zoma mattress for sleepers who are looking for an all foam mattress designed for athletes to facilitate muscle recovery. It offers excellent pressure relief and zonal support throughout the memory foam top layer. This all foam design also offers very low motion transfer for those who sleep with a partner. It comes in at a 5 out of 10 on the firmness scale where 10 is the most firm. So you will need to prefer a medium firmness if the Zoma is going to be right for you. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Zoma, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at naplab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.